honestly forgot Mrs. Kipling was a guy in this show for a bit. And that we didn't find out till later that um, there was a plot twist that she was a girl. And I thought it was going to be in like later seasons. But no, it's it's the final. So it was always weird hearing Mr. Kipling. Because I always remembered it as Mrs. Kipling. This show is not as good as I remembered, which might make some Jesse fans mad if they ever watch this. But I somehow enjoyed Good Luck Charlie more, and Jesse was a very nostalgic show for me. Like, I watch this shit all the time. I was getting to be, you know, more of a teenager. Getting older when Bunked come out. I watched that too. Just because of the fact that it had Ravi and Cameron Boyce in it. Though I think he only appeared once or twice. And I watched it a few times here and there. I don't remember liking it that much. So if I do end up re-watching it, I'll talk about that. But yeah, this show... I didn't remember Luke being as obsessed as he was with Jesse. I remember that being part of the plot. But, jeez, the first few episodes is just crazy. I've always found it weird to have characters where one of their main personalities is being into someone that's significantly, um, you know, super older than them. I can't say the word for some reason. But, you know, it's always been weird. I did not like it in Lab Rats with Bob. Because they only did it after Brie became a full-on adult. Which it still would have been weird if she was 17 or something. Or even like 15. Because the age gap was pretty big. But they waited until the show made her graduate from high school and be an adult to add Bob and have him have a crush on her. It was so weird. I've never liked that. It does happen in real life. It, it, it's a normal thing for a kid to have a crush on somebody. It's normal for a boy or a girl to have a crush on Zac Efron. It's normal for a boy or a girl to have a crush on Margot Robbie. But that's different. That's a kid in real life watching a celebrity that they find attractive. This is a show. A grown adult is making this. That is just weird to me and always has been. Why should a grown adult write a child to be, you know, one of their main things? Having a crush on a grown adult. It's weird. Cameron Boyce is a pretty decent actor from what I remember. He died in 2020. And they actually do mention something about that in this show. Well, not about his death, really. But there is a thing where Jesse steals his car from him. And says he won't get it back till 2020. So, yeah, that didn't age well. Um... Ravi is a bit stereotypical. I am a white man, so, you know, I don't think I can go in too deep about what's wrong with this, but he's clearly, you know, a stereotype with his accent and even some of the things he says. It's just weird to me. I don't remember him having this much of an accent, so maybe in later seasons he doesn't. Or maybe in Bunked, because I did watch a bit of that with Ravi in it. I think Ravi's the only character in the show. Maybe Zuri and Emma are in it. I know Cameron wasn't a full-time one. Speaking of Cameron, I need to watch a show that I added to my list on Prime that came out not too long ago. It's more of an adult one, so... He should be a pretty good actor in that. Since he doesn't have to worry about a G rating like this show. Hopefully. Anyway. 
The only thing I've seen him in is obviously this Bunked and which Bunked was the exact same character. And um Descendants, which I don't even really remember those movies. I literally only watch them because of Cameron. Well, there's actually two Camerons in that. And um that one dude. But I only remember him because of X-Men Days of Future Past where he plays Warpath. I really don't remember much about the Descendant movies. Anyway, let's talk about some of the actual plots in the show, if you can call it that. They have, like, very neglectful parents that are hardly in the show. It's always Jesse watching them. Which makes sense since the show is called Jesse. But it does bring problems into it if you think more about it. I get it's a kid's show, but, you know, still. They occasionally show up and all they do is, like, give them gifts and leave. Or, when they are there, they're only there for, like, a few minutes. Um. We get that creepy Connie character and her and Ravi date for, like, one episode. And then, they never mention that again in this season. I hope she's not in season two, because I just don't like her. I also got introduced to this nanny called Agatha. And both times we see her, she has a different child, and they don't even mention it. I'm pretty sure they got that child for that, that one episode. And then, they were done. And then they eventually decided, hey, we want to bring her back. And they had to get a different child. They don't even mention it. There's also an episode where um, Emma gets, like, some bad pimples. And we don't get to see her go to school. I think that would have been cool. To see how her reaction to hiding them in public or just some extras or something. Reaction to her pimples. Acme is a perfectly normal thing, but of course a teenager, especially as young as Emma, since they do confirm she's like 13 in the show, in one episode, and they confirm Luke's 12, Ravi's 10, I don't remember what Zuri is, but yeah, they do confirm she's like 13, and so that would have been cool to see her stressing out about it, and Jesse trying to comfort her about it but now we just get a joke about how it's gross and big and then later it's gone from the help of Agatha's twin sister I don't even remember the name of and then that's the end of it so it was not really that important of a plot point at all it could have been cool I think they only go to school twice in this show so it's not as big of a deal as other shows even Good Luck Charlie used it a bit more. The teacup episode was actually the episode I remembered the most. Other episodes I do briefly remember. And remember stuff about them. But I really remember this episode for some reason. And I don't even know why. I guess it's just because it's a cool set piece. You can't really say most kid shows had a bunch of people trapped in a teacup. Creepy Connie comes back, like I was talking about earlier, and she dates Ravi. And then she's not in any of the rest of these episodes. Which, it's only three episodes, but you know, still. Gotcha day. Actually, I want to say something else first. There is an episode about facing fears where Jesse was afraid of a porta potty. I remember that episode too pretty well. I don't know why either. I guess some of these are just engraved into my memory. Um. Now back to Gotcha Day. It's like some thing. I don't remember exactly why. But it's just something to show the kids culture and stuff. Where they grew up in. And Zuri gets like this Africa thing. 
But she finds out later that, oh, she wants unicorns and stuff. And they also throw in this little plot about Ravi when they're doing flashbacks about how he wasn't exactly what they wanted. They wanted a baby. But but there was like a typo because they thought they were getting a baby from like 2011 but Ravi was born in 2001. But they were still fine with that. And of course the final is about Mrs. Kipling being a Mrs. Kipling. So, I don't know, would that technically make this lizard bisexual? Because there was like a whole episode about Mrs. Kipling being in love with a toy at the park. And Ravi referred to it as a girl. Because at the time, um, Mrs. Kipling was a guy in the show or whatever. Well, considered to be a guy. I don't know, it's weird. That's like more representation than most shows would get if so. And this show came out in 2011. Oh, and there's also a whole episode where they like go into this dumb waiter thing. And then they find Mr. Kipling in there. That episode honestly just felt like filler. It didn't lead to anything at all. And that's saying something since it's a kid's show. But yeah, overall, decent show. Actually, I do want to say one more thing. Bertram was pretty funny at times, but other times his character was just straight up a dick. <laughs> it was just so much, so much stuff going on with him. Though I definitely think that Ravi's character was a bit stereotypical. And yeah, I guess that's about it.